And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you a game that was sent to me by, uh, well, someone directly through email, actually. It says, uh, from Risen Games, and holy cow, this is loud. Uh, so this game is called, uh, Stardrift Nomads. It's a dual-stick shooter, which I guess I'm gonna have to try and do with, uh, keyboard and mouse, if possible, because that's really what I got. Uh, this is available on Steam right now for $19.99. So this is definitely one of the more expensive games I've been given a key for, for review purposes. Um, I like a little icon, but I don't even know what kind of game this is. But I thank you for giving me a key, and let's just hop in here. Ooh, it's got 3D. Let's first things first is turn down this music so I can turn up the game. Uh, there we go. That's better. So now we turn that up. And so, yeah, we should be good there. Oh, there's voice volume. No sound effects volume, though. That's a little odd. <clears throat> so, what is this? Kamikaze level zero ace. Yeah, look at me. I'm a level zero. Oh. Well, let's just jump right in and see what this game is all about anyway. Wave limit 20. XP modifier 1x. Oh, there's a campaign. I think we're going to go to the campaign, aren't we? Preparing to scramble. Scramble all fighters. Good luck. Gotta clean up my mouse here, though. Wow, I really hadn't cleaned that out in a while. Uh, trackball gets uh, dirty really quickly, and I definitely need to get it. Welcome to the Colony Pilot. There's much danger, and I missed that because I was cleaning out my mouse. Whoa! Whee! Oh, jeez. There we go. I'm a little spaceship. Pew, pew, pew. Shoot boogers. Hostile spacecraft. On Heads radar. up, ape. Big rocks flying this way. Blast them before they crash into your colony. Okay, there's a little radar at the bottom right. Oh, there we go. Boop. Out. No, no. I'll just take it out with my ship. Who needs armor? Oh, crap. There's more. They are not actually even going to hit. Hostile spacecraft. On no, no, no. Radar. Boom! <laughs> I tried to save myself. Wait, what's this? Here's some scrap. What am I? Am I like a space bug? Oh, that's what that is. Oh! I see, so you get scrap that lets you do stuff. Um, $110, which means I can do that? Sure. Fire through the air with the greatest of ease. I'm a spaceship. Holy crap, these things are. Our colony depends on you. Thank you for letting me know. Asteroids are not the only threat. Well, what other threat is there? Eat space boogers! Well, at least I know how to use a twin stick on. Wah! Hello, my friends. Whee! My aim is pretty lousy. I got an easier way. Err! Get the scrap, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not gonna do that. I think it not. Boop. I made an E. Oh, I can't hold down the button when doing that. Okay. That was my mistake. So wait, I don't get any of the scrap that I got when I exploded? Oh, I guess that's not money. Scrap is not money. Oh, I take scrap there. Okay. 
So I want to go touch the place with my ship. Kind of sounds dirty, but uh, after you get scrap, it looks like you want to collect it. I'm made out of the scaffold next. Check for damage on the colony towers with the holes can be patching humans and other way. I cannot read it that fast. It's not giving me the ability to read any of that. Oh, crap. Do I get, like, rockets or something? So I'm at wave four, apparently. Come on. Thank you. Let's go and repair my ship. Um, I need more power. I need a lot more power. Hello? Any more baddies? Space. Probably some of the mini beings. Our primary goal is to preserve it. Anytime we take a hit, population drops. Don't let it fade to zero or we will be a ghost colony. Grab your sticks. The pirates are pushing through the asteroid field. Normally I do some kind of voice, but unfortunately I don't know how long I'll have to read these things. Ah! Jeez, these things are like everywhere. Ah, dang it! So you lose everything you're carrying when that happens. Superlative. We'll make it out of here with Drip's little pup. Come back to the first round, protein, blah blah blah. Yay, wave five complete. I lost four ships. And my little space bug went back to the docking station. No population lost. Okay. I guess I understand. Don't know why it doesn't just let me continue the campaign. Is this all the campaign all the way to there? Final destination. This seems like a really short campaign. There better be like a whole lot more levels. I am sniffing something on the radar in SOS, faint, but alpha level priority. A cloud of pirates is heading this way. That explains why there are so many of the mongrels in this territory. Build guns in case they catch our scent by sapien friend. We're moving in. Okay, um. Build guns. What do you mean, build guns? Uh, well, I'm just going to up this a bunch. Well, that definitely makes me shoot a little bit faster. Whoop! Anyone else want to play? Whoop! Grab some stuff, go back here. Repair self, repair the ship. So, so far I'm really not seeing much of uh, a great appeal to this for its style. I mean, it, it looks cool. I mean, I like the twin stick shooter, but I'm kind of expecting a little more than just a uh, defend the base. Defending the base is great, but... Our colony on you. Whoop. We sent the scouts running through the tails between the lakes. There's a bunch of rocks. Time to show them we still have a few tricks under our collar. Are we dog people or what? Are cats the enemy? Come on, will you just explode already? I'd like to go home sometime today. Whee. protect myself with the, the thing itself, which is kind of dumb, but with the ability to repair it. 
makes it rather easy to do. And 90, 100%. <clears throat> and now I heal myself to boot. And let's increase my armor. Why not? Danger is approaching. You're approaching. I wonder how far my bullets actually reach. I just keep shooting in front of you. Boop. A boop. Grab my goodies, return it for scrap. Oh, nothing. Should repair myself a little about it. Uh, I really... Is this it? Don't beat the pirates. Closing out signal, but pirates are nipping at her tail. What could be worth all this destruction? I am not sure. Boop. more stuff. Oh, should probably stop those things. Ah, oh, crap. I mean, immediately giving me another ship is a, a bit of a... not really a cop-out, but, um... a little unfair in their aspect, because I immediately get full health. I mean, I may lose the cargo I have, but... that doesn't take a whole lot of effort there. So that's wave four. Don't lose sight of your primary function. I mean, I hope this this isn't how the game is going to continuously happen. The ship must have some passion embedded itself in a huge rock. The scanner suit does not show any life signs. I'm showing the very dense. Oh wow! While I'm trying to read it, they're attacking me. Those jerks! I cannot read these things before I'm about to die. Oh, repairing it while it goes, that's actually really ridiculously useful. And I mean by ridiculously useful, I mean ridiculously useful. Let's pick up some garbage. Space trash, watch out! Space trash! Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Ooh, what's this? Let's go see what this is. I don't care if I'm getting out of range, I'm trying to destroy this thing. Arr! This is not working. Oh look! Look! It's health went down a little bit. It's health went down a little bit. You know, if I had an hour, I might be able to destroy this. We have adapted to space. I bet you've adapted to space. Oh crap, I forgot something. I forgot to repair it. Let's grab all that stuff. Ah, rocks! Big rocks! Ah, I'm not worried about those. I'm more worried about these guys. So it doesn't take more uh, resources to repair the, the place. It just continues to repair until it's full. Ow. Well, I don't mean to smash into them. I really promise I'm not. Is that giant rock just floating around in orbit just to mess with me? Oh! What's this? Let's try this. Oh, I can't do it? Why can't I do it?
I mean, I'm curious. Is this actually the finished product or? Oh, wow. I'm, I might actually lose my stuff here. It's no! This was just a game. That voice is getting irritating, though. Uh, wave reached seven. So it gives me what do levels do for me? Oh, so I don't have skills until I level up, which means it, it intentionally wants me to lose and die. So what is blast wave? None of those. Apparently, I have five skill points or plus five. I don't even know what that is. T. What is T? And you always have to exit the main menu. Well, I, can I choose these things? Customize. Oh, I can. I can make it pretty colors. Skills. Blast wave. Why not? It's not really teaching me a whole lot of what I need to do. It's got survival, which is, well, I guess you survive as long as possible. You are not prepared. So let's try this one more time. I mean... <clears throat> we're definitely going to go... when I need more armor because I haven't had a problem with like engines or otherwise it's just been I, is there a way to speed this up it says plus one T oh we have adapted to oh that explains it now So T allows you to use skills and so forth. So if I went like this, I completely decimate the enemy. Now I understand how this works. I mean, I really would have preferred a tutorial. Did I miss out on the tutorial? Is it in the main menu? Every 20 seconds I can use that thing. Some more stuff here. Boop. Protect the colony. Bark, bark. Yeah, I know. Scouts running between their legs. Blah, 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 blah. That one's destroyed anymore. Oh, hello. Boop. That's way too easy. So what is with the space pirates anyway? It hasn't really explained anything about them. And what it has explained, I can't read fast enough for. I can go like that and then upgrade number two. So what is number two anyway? Fast forward, oh. Well, I just ran that one over. No, whoop, grab it, num num num. Now, what else can I buy? Get some more armor so I can survive more hits. Pirates detected. Oh, 
through that one again. This one is grants the ace some armor to absorb damage and chance to reflect shots. I'd rather have nuke, but I guess that's what I have to wait for later. Oh, lovely. Oh, wow. Whoa! That was not how I expected that to go, but that's fine with me. That's not gonna work. We're all gonna die. We're gonna die. We're all going to freaking die. Maybe we're gonna live. We live! Mostly. Well, I don't have a whole lot of money left. Don't be the pirates. Don't be the pirates? Well, that didn't work as I planned. Come on, destroy it! What happens if I get to this thing and just blast the crud out of it? Oh, look, more. Wow, that doesn't do a whole lot of damage at all. How am I supposed to destroy that? Besides crashing into it. Oh, I should probably return back with this loot. What are? I need more money to repair this stuff. Come on. Destroy it. Why not? We'll make that shield. Our colony depends on you. Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I needed to know. Nothing new. I mean, this is really redundant. I mean, it seems like it'd be a great idea, but I, I feel like something's horribly missing from this game. What well, frickin' A! So apparently there are bosses in this game. So and this can be multiplayer from what it looks like. I mean it's giving me this demerits crap, but that doesn't explain a whole lot. So now I can customize uh, skills. No, I, I didn't get any new skills because I didn't level up. So you have to reach like level 24 to get anything good and I've still never seen what a nuke does. Gear. Ace level 2 is what that requires. Wait, you can create your own loadout? That's great. Uh, charging up, bloodlust. Oh, well, you have to... 
Yeah, it pretty much it just has you play the same things over and over again. I mean, let's just take a look at this survival thing and see if it's just an endless thing to try and help you level up. I mean, this thing is really lacking anything to keep me going. Obviously, same space map, same space fighting, same space boulders. Hello, do we begin? Prepare for battle. Let's just start firing before they even get here. Oh, it was a rock, and I missed it with every shot. Grab it, grab it, repair it. Repair me. So every wave it looks like I get a new thing. That's like beginning of every round. I mean, I'm not going to survive very many rounds because this thing is... I can't make this thing any stronger. Oh, jeez. It's like a battle cruiser. Explode. This doesn't cost me anything to, like, level myself up or repair myself. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Dang it. Huh. So when everyone on the colony dies... Wait. Oh! Letting me off the leash. Radiation field. Defenses vulnerable. So I'm assuming that 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 field is going to let me. Is that a boulder? That's no, no. It's it's it's, it's shooting the colony still. Is this thing hurting me? What's the purpose of this like electrical field thing? It's not hurting them, it's not hurting me. This thing's just gonna go on forever, isn't it? Holy cow, these things are like much stronger than what I was facing on the other thing through the campaign. There's a campaign I was only at like the second level. No, 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 no. Well, that failed. <laughs> I should learn to aim. I mean, might be helpful to me. Detrimental to my health, but. I mean, I. I mean, this is kind of like a fun game. I do enjoy this little, like, twin stick shooter thing. But. I would like to be able to, like, install defenses yeah, on my, uh. Base to at least be able to have it defend itself. I mean. 
they have one ship, one guy and one ship to come out there? Well, unlimited ships, just one guy. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Because every time they freaking do this... I'm gonna run out of humans here. And I have 128 left, which means I could increase my cargo or my engine, which doesn't do me a whole lot of good for the engine, because I gotta stay around this thing to freaking shoot it. Huh. Maybe it'll show me like a boss at wave five. That's only hoping. Can dance. Hostile spacecraft on radar. Oh, that's it? That's how long it lasts? Are you kidding me? Resource for planetoid entering radar range. I don't have enough firepower to get rid of these things. Holy cow, are you kidding me? I'm trying, I really am. Don't die, everyone stay alive. Pair. Oh, come on! I just dealt with you guys! I think it's all it's ever gonna give is demerits. Really? 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 Already? How about you just boom? Done. I only have 3,790. I mean, what's the purpose of having a colony HP and then a freaking... I mean, because every time I get shot, I can't stop it from getting shot. It will always get shot. Unless I have perfect aim with my inaccurate gun, it's just not possible. These little guys aren't even on the radar! Where are you? Because there's no way I could leave and go over to that thing and take care of it. Wait, or is it this? Wait, is it that thing? Do I have to go out and find it? Oh my gosh. That's what was going on. I thought it was just an asteroid flying away. I bet it is. Because it doesn't give me a break at all. Well, 
Oh, I actually hit something. No, 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 no. This isn't fair. This is not fair. What the hell was that? Oh, come on. I'm running out of people. There's no way of surviving this experience. I mean, I know this is just a survive one, but seriously, I would have expected a little bit more. Oh, you're kidding me. Gotta go find the ship. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Oh, oh you destroy it and it destroys them. That's good. Wish I knew that. This game's not teaching you anything as you go. Finally, I can see what the nuke is. Got 150, which allows me to, what, up my armor? But it doesn't let me up like the colony. Reproduce people! Oh, this is going to be great. Holy crap! What was Nuke? What the hell was Nuke? Why didn't it do anything? I'm screwed. Goodbye. I'm frozen. I'm dead. Everything's dead. I can't pick up that mess. I really need to turn off that guy. But no, this is a uh, game. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I got a decent amount of experience, I think. Wave number multiplier, 1.5. So now I'm a level 2 ace, which should allow me to have a little more things to choose from. But these things are, like, overpowered. You can't even get very far into it. So, gear... Black short. Well, let's take a look at that. I think we're done. I just want to see what this flat gun is, and then that's the end of this epic adventure. Well, I guess short range is useful, right? Oh, and that still does that. Okay. Well, I just wanted to... Oh, well... No, let's... see if we upgrade this thing. Well, it doesn't look any different. Um... But yeah, this game is called Star Drift Nomads. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the whole storyline is. It doesn't give you any... Yeah, I, okay, so there's a controls button hidden right there. Wart, acid. So it's got the acid controls with ERT, action repair, and level up. Which, level up, it didn't even explain how that worked. Skill keys, escape menu, uh, tower menu. Tower menu? Tower menu? Could I have been building something on this thing? Oh my gosh! Ugh. Okay, this game definitely needs a better tutorial in order to play it. Um, that way things would work a lot better. A wall, no offensive capability that can take the most damage of turrets. So, boop. Oh, you build a wall like that? Guns. Reload and regroup. Why not? Let's see what this does. Oh, that's like better than what I can. Because it tries to follow the enemies. So it is like a tower defense kind of game, except for you can't. Not a whole lot of to do. I mean, can I upgrade these things? Can I go over to it and repair it? Repair structure. Wow, repairing the structures costs a lot. Everything costs a lot. There's no way to maintain them for very long. So now I see why asteroids fly by so much. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, uh, since I didn't even get to begin to explore this game, because I... I definitely need 
more information. Create party. Oh! And that's where you can invite people. Now that makes more sense. Holy cow. I mean, I go into games without having any knowledge of how to play them or anything. But uh, this game has it needs more tutorials. Um, the type of game that it is, it's a really cool idea for like a tower defense kind of thing. Being kind of like a little almost like open world to run around like an idiot. Which is great. I like running around like an idiot. Um, taking a look at the store page here. 12 unique towers. Customize your ship to fit your playstyle and seize victory with up to 8 players. Oh! So you could do this with a whole bunch of people. Holy crap, doing that with that many... Future starters will have a signing. Reading that, reading that. Fresh pirates, your Uh Yeah, it really doesn't explain a whole lot about this game. Um... I mean, I would like to, you know, see this game much more. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, without being able to play with a whole bunch of people, it kind of defeats the purpose. But if you can play with up to eight people, I don't think the game should be twenty dollars. I mean, this is something that I would see, you know, buying for like three to five dollars, and then have a four pack or something for twenty bucks. That way, you can buy and get a bunch of your friends together to try and uh, do this because it would make more sense than trying to play alone like I just did. Because I know no one on my list owns this game. It actually says here that no one on my list owns this game. So it could be a lot of fun, but I think it's going to be a heck of a lot more fun with a bunch of people versus what we just experienced. Because then some people could be mining those uh, uh, the b big boulders that are floating through space. People could end up uh, building different things while the other ones are like shooting out the. Uh, I mean, playing it one player is freaking impossible. It really is. I mean, this is a longer video than I normally do for uh, games, but I cannot fully test this game without an army behind my back. Uh, because one player, this game is horrible. Multiplayer, it might be more fun. Um, so. I'm not comfortable doing a, a, a Steam review to rather recommend it or not recommend it until I've uh, tested all aspects of this game. Um, the one thing I'm going to have to say that this game needs is a tutorial, an actual tutorial. And uh, if it's going to give you text and throw enemies at you at the same time, that's going to mess it up because I couldn't read a bunch of the stuff because enemies were attacking. But this game, uh, I had a little bit of fun with it. Um, but it's not something I'd pick up and play by myself. It would be something I'd only pick up and play with other people. Heck, I'm surprised that this thing isn't PvP where one person has a space station on one end of the map and one person has a space station on the other end of the map and the whole goal is to destroy your opponent's space station and repair it and rebuild it and so forth and gathering minerals from asteroids or something. Um, just making it against computers just kind of is an interesting concept. Um, it's just a tower defense in that case. But one player, this game is impossible. The more you rank up, the more stuff you get, the more stuff you get, the easier it is to do things. Uh, but I think this game is designed for multi multiple players. So uh, if you folks had fun, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the fun things. I'll catch you guys in the next game.